11, allegations of wasteful spending at a recent school event is raising concerns tonight. Our Chelsea Rarick investigates the high dollar food bill that you're paying for and who signed off on it. Costly out of town conferences. Getting gas money to drive to and from school board meetings, all paid for by you, the taxpayer. As CBS 6 first reported last year, Richmond school board members are allowed $15,000 to spend on things like travel, teacher appreciation events, and district meetings. The development but now, there's new concerns about how some board members are spending that money. And then take the After receiving a tip, we found that teaching Pinkney Epps expensed a catering bill for a 9th district parent check-in meeting that took place back in November. She had the company, which is located in Henrico County, make enough food for 100 people at a cost of nearly $1,100. But a source tells CBS 6 that only a little over a dozen people attended, and most of the food went untouched. I think to the extent that um, we're trying to communicate with our constituents, um, doing uh, community town hall meetings, presentations is a good thing. Um, but when you look at where we are from a fiscal standpoint and our budget needs, um, perhaps spending uh, $1,000 on food for one of these events is not the wisest use of, of taxpayer dollars. We tried to reach Epps by email and phone. After no response, we caught up with her at a school board work session Tuesday night. We were told that only a few people showed up. It was nowhere near 100 people. Well, what I would say to that is that it was approved. Um, I uh, planned on having that many people there, and because it had already been approved, you could not not pay for it. Epp says the meeting was to educate parents about Title I schools, but could not give an estimate as to how many people were there. I'm spending the money appropriately. But you can't give me a number as to how many people exactly went? Can you give me uh, a... Didn't you for you that? You, you don't have any sign-in sheets. I know other school board members have sign-in sheets for their events, but you didn't have any. So can, can you give an exact number? And you give it to a shelter. Shonda Harris Mohammed has also ordered food for school events but says she tries to be frugal. It is not my money to spend, so I have to be very strategic when I plan anything, particularly the chat and shoes. It does. I mean, And school board member Jeff Bourne says the board needs to make sure all members are spending money in the most appropriate way. So I think we have to continue to, to look at our policies and make sure that um, we have the proper check, checks and balances. And after speaking with Epps on Tuesday night, we had scheduled to speak with her in an interview this afternoon. She canceled but sent us this statement saying in part, breakfast and lunch were provided as a part of the community check-in. The services were rendered and therefore were appropriately invoiced for payment. Epps also mentioned another school board member's trip to Nashville for a conference. I spoke with Kristen Larson about the trip, which is costing around $2,800. She says this is the first overnight trip she's taken since taking office. She says she plans to utilize the time at the conference. And board member Mamie Taylor also spent money on food for district meetings. Taylor tells me she had a good turnout at her meetings. She says all who attended ate the food provided. Working for you, I'm Chelsea Rarick for CBS 6 News.